ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ثم اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد we begin my dear brothers and sisters in islam by praising allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with praises and exaltations that indeed only he is worthy of and we begin by sending his salawat and his salamat his blessings and his peace upon the last and final messenger Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam wa ba'd the no ya ayuhal ikhwan wa akhawat ar indil Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran shahru ramadan alladhi unzila fihi al Quran hudan lin nas wa bayyinat min al huda wal furqan Allah jalla wa ala in surah al baqara he says regarding the month of ramadan شهر رمضان الذي انزل فيه القران the month of ramadan it is that month in which the quran was revealed in which the quran was sent down شهر رمضان الذي انزل فيه القران هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان as guidance for mankind it was sent down as guidance for mankind for the believers from amongst them and for the disbelievers so allah jalla wa ala he describes the quran as hudan lin nas it was guidance for all of mankind as for those in whose hearts there is iman then it straightens their affairs it tells them what is correct and it tells them what is incorrect and it allows them to straighten their affairs and to benefit from the quran in this life and the next But as for the disbelievers and indeed it is guidance for them too it tells them and it establishes barahin it establishes proofs and evidences against them so on yawm al qiyamah they have no excuse as to why they disbelieved in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and allah jalla wa ala he describes the quran saying bayyinat min al huda wal furqan It is clear evidences. The book it is filled with clear evidences of guidance and al-furqan, that which separates between truth and falsehood. It separates between at-tawhid wa shirk. It separates between al-ittiba wa al-ma'siyah. It separates between Uh, uh, good deeds and bad deeds it separates between halal and haram so the book of allah jalla wa ala it is al furqan it is that which separates between haq wal batil indeed ya ikhwan being that this is the month of ramadan we want to take this khutbah and those that will follow it bi idnillah ta'ala to benefit from some of the surah of the quran some of those smaller surah that we recite day in and day out from the first surah that we teach our kids so that they may recite them in their salawat we want to benefit from them so that when we recite them not only are we reciting the letters and the words and the phrases but we understand the meaning of what we are reciting we understand the meaning of what we are saying we understand the meaning of what allah has revealed 
and we benefit from it in that manner. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Qur'an, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٌ Indeed, Ya Ikhwan, Shaykh Salih Luthaymeen, he says regarding the reason why the surah was revealed, in which Allah says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ Say, He is Allah the One, Allahu Samad, that indeed He is Allah, the One whom there is no one like. لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ He was neither begotten nor does He beget. He was not born nor is there any offspring that is born of Him. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدْ And indeed there is nothing like unto Him. Shaykh Salih Al-Uthaymi, he writes, أَنَّ الْمُشْرِكِينَ وَالْيَهُودِ قَالُوا لِلنَّبِيِّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ صِفْ لَنَا رَبَّكْ فَأَنزَلَ اللَّهُ هَذِهِ السُّورَةِ So some of the kuffar, or some of the Jews, they came to the Messenger of Allah صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ And they said, characterize your Lord for us. What is your Lord like? Tell us about your Lord. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He revealed this surah. And he said, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ قُلْ الْخَطَابُ لِلْرَسُولِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْخِطَابُ لِلْرَسُولِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ordering the Messenger of Allah صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ specifically. وَلِلْأُمَّةِ أَيْضًا And also for his ummah. To say, هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ He is Allah, the one, Allah loved the Jalala. The name of Allah Jalla wa ala. And he is Ahad. He is only one. Allahu Samad. That indeed there is nothing like Allahu Jalla wa Ala. Allahu Ahad. Hai. Hu Allahu Ladi. Tatahadathuna anhu wa tasaluna anhu. Who is Allah? Allah is the, the one that the kuffar were asking about. Tell us about your Lord. He is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he is Ahad. Mutawahid bi jalalihi wa azmatihi. He is Allah. He is alone in His greatness. He is alone in His status. Laysa lahu mathil. There is no one like unto Him. Wa laysa lahu sharik. And He has no partners. Bal huwa mutafarrid bi jalali wa azmati azza wa jal. But rather He is alone. He is alone in His greatness. He is alone in His power. He alone created everything. And He alone is deserving of everyone's worship. Jalla Jalaluhu. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu samad Allah, He is as-samad. Alladhi iftalaqat ilayhi jami'u makhluqatihi. Meaning no one from the creation is like Allah. No one from the creation is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَقَدْ رُوِيَ عَنْ إِبْنِ أَبَّاسِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ أَنْهُ It has been narrated on Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى أنه that the meaning of As-Samad هو الكامل في علمه What is the meaning of As-Samad? He is the one who is perfect in his knowledge. His knowledge is perfect encompassing all of time and all of space and all of creation. There's nothing that exits the ilm of Allah Jalla wa ala. Nothing happens with the brothers move up, barakallahu feekum. So the people coming in have room to sit down. Allahu yubarak feek. And tighten the ranks, jazakumullahu khaira. Tighten the ranks, barakallahu feekum. He is al-kamil fi ilmihi. He is complete in his knowledge. He is complete in his love. In that love or that care he shows to his creation. He is kamil fi qudratihi. He has the perfect capability to do what he wills. And there is no one there to challenge the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ila akhiri ma dhakara fil athar. To the end of what is mentioned in that narration. وَهَذَا يَعْنِي أَنَّهُ مُسْتَغِنِّنْ عَنْ جَمِيءِ مَخْلُ الْقَاتْ لِأَنَّهُ كَابِلٍ So meaning what? 
He is not in need of anyone from his creation. He is not in need of anyone from the creation. Because he is kamil fi sifatihi. He is perfect in his attributes. He is perfect in his attributes. His hearing is perfect. He hears and he sees everything. So he is not in need of anyone to inform him of what is happening. He is kamil in his sight that Allah Jalla wa ala sees everything. And he is not in need of anyone to inform him of anything. Allah Jalla wa ala is not in need of his creation, not in the least. وَوُرِدَ أَيْدًا فِي تَفْسِيرِهَا أَنَّ الصَّمَدْ هُوَ الَّذِي تَسَمَّلَ إِلَيْهِ الْخَلَائِقِ فِي هَوَائِجِهَا الصَّمَدْ What has also come in its meaning is that there are those that turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They turn to Allah jalla wa ala because they are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So indeed al-samad, it carries the meaning of the one who is not in need of anyone, but everyone else is in need of Allah jalla wa ala. Allah jalla wa ala then says, لَمْ يَلِدْ He لِأَنَّهُ جَلَّ وَعَلَى لَا مَثِيلَ لَهُ وَالْوَلَدْ مُسْتَقٌ مِنْ وَالِدِهِ وَجُزْءٌ مِنْهُ كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ So, Allah Jalla wa ala was not born. He was not born of anyone. Why? لِأَنَّ لَيْسَ لَهُ مَثِيلٌ Allah Jalla wa ala has no one that is like him. And as the Prophet of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم mentioned, when a child is born of someone, he has the likeness of his parents. But indeed, Allah Jalla wa ala, he was not born of anyone. Lam yalid, wa lam yulad. And indeed, he does not give birth to anyone. He has no sons, he has no daughters. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is as-samad, lam yalid, wa lam yulad. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. The last ayah of the surah ya yuhl ikhwan wa akhwat ولم ي ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. That indeed there is nothing like unto him. Sheikh Saleh Al Uthaymin رحمه الله تعالى he writes أي لم يكن له أحد مساويا في جميع صفاته. That there is no one that is equal to Allah in his attributes. فَنَفَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَىٰ عَنْ نَفْسِهِ أَنْ يَكُونَ وَالِدًا So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has negated regarding himself that he is a father. أَوْ مَوْلُودًا Or that he was born of someone. أَوْ لَهُ مَثِيلٌ Or there is someone like unto him. وَهَذِهِ السُورَةِ لَهَا فَضَلْ عَظِيمٌ Indeed this surah, it has... A great status. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said regarding it, it is equal to a third of the Qur'an. That it is equal to a third of the Qur'an. Why? <coughs> because the topic of the book of Allah is a tawheed. And this surah, it deals with Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. It deals with Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. Think about it, Ya Yuhl Ikhwan. The first surah of the Qur'an, Al-Fatiha. The first surah of the Qur'an, Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. Ar-Rahman al-Rahim. Tawheed al-Asma'i wa-Sifat. Maliki Yawm al-Deen. Tawheed al-Rububiyyah. 
إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين توحيد العبادة then look at the last surah of the Quran look at the last surah of the Quran قل يا أيها الكافرون لا أعبد ما تعبدون oh you disbelievers we do not worship what you worship يعني توحيد العبادة قل هو الله أهد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد توحيد الأسماء والصفات Dealing with the character, with the attributes of Allah. قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ تَوْهِيدَ الرُّبُّبِيَّةِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ تَوْهِيدَ الرُّبُّبِيَّةِ قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَالِكِ النَّاسِ تَوْهِيدَ الرُّبُّبِيَّةِ إِلَاهِ النَّاسِ تَوْهِيدُ الْعِبَادَةِ So indeed the Quran, it begins with a tawheed. And it ends with a tawheed. This is the topic of the Quran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding of this topic in this month. Accept this month from us. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'in wa iqamati salah.